With the Wimbledon Championships just round the corner, I've come to sharpen up my tennis techniques here at the Wimbledon Club with a band who are no strangers to serving aces in the pop charts. They've been called the Abra of the 90s and they're big tennis fans. And with a name like Juice, what do you expect? What a game of tennis. <laughs> <laughs> He had me running around there. I, no wonder I had to start umpiring at the end. <laughs> With a sweat here, look. But do you, do you, do you, do you play tennis often? Or is it... uh, <laughs> or are we just always rubbing no. That ball was in! You've been through quite a lot since the last time we had you on the show. Mm -hmm. We'll start, if we can start with Mandy. Hello. You, you're new to the band, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. When well, did you... It's been eight months now. But relatively new. Yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah. So, what happened? What happened with Kelly? What... Well, what happened was she, um... Just before the smashes last year, she decided that she wasn't happy and wanted to go her own way. So, you know, we had a meeting, sat down and said, OK, fine, if you're that unhappy, then cool. Yeah. We had a meeting with our management at Pineapple Studios one day because we was rehearsing. And we was talking to Mandy because we knew Mandy anyway from the Pineapple Studios. And, um, you know, our management said, oh, who's the blonde girl you're talking to? I was like, oh, that's Mandy. <laughs> oh, that's does Mandy. she sing? Does she dance? And I was like, yeah, yeah she's a dancer, trained dancer. You know, and she said, oh, she had a meeting with Mandy, yeah. and that was it, history she was in. Was it hard to take over from Kelly? I mean, she was the sort of the, the original yeah. of the band. Well, I didn't, I wasn't trying to be a carbon copy of her, and to be honest, I was too much, you know, concentrating on the lyrics and the choreography and everything to think much about that. When did you join um, Aiking and Stock, Stock and Aiking's new label? What's it called? Love Love this. Love this. And you joined them six months ago? All right, so is it, is it a, sort of a... It's a whole new thing, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it is, yeah, because, I mean, they're, they're definitely pop moguls, and they've done, like, everybody from Mel and Kim, Banana Rama, Kylie, Jason Donovan, and the, the sort of the hit factor, do you know what I mean? And they're so professional. No, 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 surrender. Tell me about the new single, anyway. No? We went into the studio, and they said, um, you know, right, let's get a feel about what, what you want to do when you... With, this is your, like, comeback single, if you like. Mm. And we was like, you know, well, th you know, we want to come back and... and hit it hard and stuff and, like, and then started to write No Surrender, didn't it? Juice really? our back and there's No Surrender. <laughs> we worked with a guy called Badger um, from La La Land Productions. It looks like Quentin Tarantino. And he was fantastic, mm. he was really on the ball and very creative. You know, very and we were sort of like saying, can we do this? Can we do that shot? Can we do this shot? And he was like, yeah, yeah, go for it. Well done, <laughs> Service. Thank you very Mandy, much. Mandy, good return. Craig, good forehand. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, good backhand. Thank you. <laughs> now, can I, can I, um, can I get down and have a game now? Can yeah, I? of course you can. I've yeah. got a good idea for you, Mel. Why don't you come this way? Whoa. Well, you can't win them all, but at least I'm getting a game. Oh. Massive.